Hi guys, welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Smitha. Welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be doing an other look for ED this next weekend. So before that, let's get going. And I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's a trend or many of you have the same taste. You guys wanted me to do a neutral bronzy glam. Nothing too glam, but nothing too simple. Somewhere in between. So this is the look I came up with. And this whole look was created using BoxyCharm. We got the BoxyCharm box for May. And if you didn't know, BoxyCharm is a monthly beauty subscription where you get five luxury items for only $25 a month. Let's look at what I received for May. The first product here is the Glam Glow Berry Glow Probiotic Recovery Face Mask. This retails for $49. This is actually a superfood for your face. It smells and feels like smoothie. I haven't tasted it, but if I do, I'll let you know. Um, it has a good blend of beetroot and hibiscus flower and um, super berries and whatnot. Um, so it's a probiotic and it uh, helps to repair the skin's barrier. Overall, fantastic. I've tried it one time and it felt really good, but I'll keep you posted on how it goes. I will try to use it as regularly as possible. And then I received the shampoo bar from Daily Concepts. This is a plant-based vegan bar which has shampoo and conditioner built into it. So you just apply it and wash your hair. You don't have to reach out for a shampoo and then a conditioner separately. Overall, a good concept, but there is something about the smell that's a turn off for me. And $24 is a little bit pricey, but hey, I shouldn't even be complaining because I received it in the BoxyCharm box. So if you're subscribed, then it comes with the box. No complaints there. And then we have the Blink Black Lash Primer. I almost thought I will mess that up because blink and black, blink black. Can you say that five times? It retails for $26. I'm a digger for fuller lashes. And you'll see how this product works in just a bit because I'll be using it. Overall, I love it. And then we have an eyeshadow primer by Pretty Vulgar. You know how crazy I am about applying eyeshadows on my eyes. So this came in very handy. It forms that sticky base um, and eyeshadows stick better on your lid when you have that sticky base, giving you better pigment payoff. Um, this retails for $22. And last but not least, we always have an eyeshadow palette. Is it just me who always gets the eyeshadow palette or... Let me know if you're subscribed and you get an eyeshadow palette every month. Uh, this is the Ease to Wear palette by Studio Makeup and retails for $35. Looks very basic on camera. In fact, it looks more basic than in real life. Uh, it is a neutral palette, which means that you can use it more often because in all honesty, we don't do very colorful looks on a daily basis. So this will come in handy because it's compact and it has all the shades that you need. Um, and this is the eyeshadow palette that I use today. So you'll see how that goes. So if you had bought these products separately, you would have ended up paying $156. But because it's BoxyCharm, if you're subscribed, you only get it for $25. Before we start, I want to make it very clear that I wasn't paid to make this video. It's not a sponsored video. However, there is an affiliate link down below in the description box. So if you use that link to subscribe to BoxyCharm, I do end up making a video very small commission out of it but it's totally up to you you don't even have to use that link you can go directly to boxycharm and subscribe i don't make any commission then uh, but you can still subscribe directly you don't have to use my affiliate link having said that let's begin i already have a moisturizer and a sunscreen on my face and now i'm going to be using a primer and the one that i'll be using is the tatcha liquid silk canvas and this is uh, similar to the balm kind of silk canvas that we all love. Uh, but this has a more hydrating, more moisturizing formula. We want to keep things very subtle today but at the same time glamorous so we will be doing reverse makeup i'm going to start with contouring and for that i'm going to be using the pretty fresh creamy concealer from colourpop in the shade 205n which is deep dark a tad bit deeper than i want it to be but the trick here is to use very little it's very blendable so i'm going to use it in the usual areas where i contour and i'm going to blend it out with a kabuki brush 
One thing nice about reverse makeup is you don't have to spend too much time on blending. It doesn't have to be seamless because you'll be covering this with foundation. And for my dark circles and spot correction, I'm going to be using a lighter concealer. Of course, I'm going to be using my favorite. This is the Milani Concealer in the shade 145, which is a true match to my skin tone. And I'm going to blend everything quickly with my finger. Remember, your body is warm. So if you use creamy products, the warmth will easily melt those products and give you that seamless blend. And nice thing about using the finger is it doesn't absorb any product, unlike uh, sponges and brushes also absorb a little bit of product, but the fingers, nothing. So it gives you full coverage. It's been a minute since I used this foundation. This is the Dream Liquid Mousse by Maybelline in the shade 90, which is honey beige. And as it says on the bottle, it does give you that airbrush finish. And I used to reach out to this a lot more before, but brands have come up with so many different choices and they're all good. So I reach out for it a little bit less because uh, there are other foundations as well. And I feel like I have to be fair and give everybody and every brand and every foundation equal opportunity uh, but I still love this foundation I'm going to set my face with the Milani press powder just so the base doesn't move and the brush that I'm using is a large powder brush by hip dot And to seal my face so it keeps it looking fresh, I'm going to be using the ColourPop Pretty Fresh Setting Mist. This will also melt all the powders on my face and make it look more like skin. With the brows, I'm going to be using Gimme Brow from Benefit to brush my brow hair upwards. I'm not going to be filling the top portion of my brows. They're freshly tweezed brows, if you remember, so I'm only going to be filling the lower part. And for that, I'm going to be using the Precisely My Brows pencil from Benefit in the shade 4.5. Using a little bit more of the Milani concealer, I'm going to clean up underneath the brows and the brush that I'm using is in fact an eyeliner brush from e.l.f. I use it as a concealer brush and I'm not going to be bringing the concealer onto my lids because I want to use the pretty vulgar eyeshadow base and I'm going to be using very little. All you need is one dot because it's pretty uh, thick and it's pretty sticky so you don't need too much uh, and I'm going to spread it out with my finger. From the palette, I'm first taking Gilded, which is a beautiful bronze shade, so buttery and so pigmented. I'm going to be saturating my entire lid with my finger. We're going to keep today's look very easy so many of you can recreate it. And then I'm dipping into Bare with a small blending brush from Colourpop. I'm going to first dot that, just simply place it in the outer and inner corners and then start softening it and joining the two corners through the crease. And once you feel like everything is well blended, it's looking really soft, there's no harsh lines, we'll move on to the next color, uh, which is Fate. I'm going to place this eyeshadow again, just like my previous step in the outer and inner corners and soften it up using the same blending brush. Mm -hmm. 
So that deepens the corners. So if you look at the eyelid now, the corners are deep. And as you move to the center of the lid, it becomes lighter. So that gives that halo effect on the lid, making the lid appear larger. I'm also going to use Fade to smoke out my lower lash line. And the brush that I'm using is a dense brush by Milani. In the very inner corner, I'm using Sheen and the brush that I'm using is a pencil brush by Do Color. And we'll also use it to highlight the brow bones using a flat shader brush from Juno. To tightline, I'm using a black eye pencil by Colourpop. I'm going to first use it in my waterline and then in the very outer corner of my eyes, which I will be smoking out later using a small definer brush again from Colourpop. And that gives you an automatic eye lift and that elongated eye look. Next on to the Blink Lash Primer, but before that I'm going to curl my lashes. Now what the primer does is it adds more fullness, thickness by depositing uh, more product onto your lashes before you apply the mascara. So when you use this first and then apply the mascara, your lashes look so much thicker without even using any falsies. Your natural lashes itself look like false lashes. I love the consistency of this product. It's neither too thick, giving you those spider lashes, nor is it too watery. It deposits the right amount of product on your lashes. And the wand is so long so and very thin. So it's very easy to navigate through each and every hair and deposit the right amount of product. So let's compare and see my right side lashes have the primer. You can see how much more volume it's added uh, compared to my left side. I'm going to use it on my left side as well and then we'll finish up the eye with a coat of mascara. The mascara that I'm using is the Bad Girl Bang from Benefit Cosmetics, again one of my holy grails. And that, my friends, finishes up the eye makeup. How easy was that? And I'm sure many of you can pull it off. If you do, please don't forget to tag me. My socials are listed down below in the description box. Now let's finish the rest of the face before we reveal the final look. For blush, I'm going to be using the Marble Blush from Ciate London, one of my favorite blushes. This again, I got in one of uh, BoxyCharm boxes. And look at that flush of uh, rosiness that it adds to your cheeks. Just enough color. And that's what I love about it. Perfect for especially neutral looks. And the brush that I'm using is a powder brush by Juno. For highlighter, I'm going to be using the Too Faced Canary Diamond, which also I got in a BoxyCharm box. I believe this was in the January box or December box. Either way, I love it. Um, and for that overall glow, what I do is I just take a large brush and I swipe it once across my cheekbones, actually the high points of my face. Um, that way it gives you that overall glow rather than focusing on the highest points of the cheekbones and whatnot that gives you a more structured look uh, but in person i feel like the subtle glow looks better i'm keeping my lips very simple and subtle first i'm going to be using a lip liner from jordana in the shade tawny i'm going to be doing the borders as well as filling my lips in using the same lip liner and as you can see that lip liner is so nude and my rule for picking nude lipsticks or liners is to go two shades deeper than my skin tone and try that rule out that works well for so many i've taught that to my students as well and now they pick two shades deeper than their skin tone and they absolutely love it and just to add a little bit of plump and volume i'm going to be using the becca glow gloss in champagne cream this is again a nude gloss so it just adds enough shine and no color got my ponytail on and some simple hoop earrings from emma and chloe which i have also linked down below in the description box and here is the completed look 
This is one of my favorite kinds of universal looks that goes with any outfit across the globe. You name it, you can wear it with this look. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed it, please don't forget to thumbs up. If you're new here, please take a moment to subscribe. I post new videos every Tuesdays, Thursdays and Sundays. For your convenience, as always, I've listed all the products that I've used in the description box right below this video. And you'll also find my social media links so if you plan to recreate this look or any of my other looks please don't forget to tag me there i would love to come by and say hello to you guys eid mubarak to everybody celebrating in advance i love you guys so much and i will see you soon with a brand new one bye guys